Welcome to the Crimson Engine. Today we are looking at lights. If you asked me which one light has had the most effect on the film industry in the last, say, 20 months, I would have to say the Quasar Tube. Quasar Science, based here in LA, makes these amazing lights that have the same form factor as a fluorescent tube, but is actually a tube of LEDs. Uh, so they fit into traditional fluorescent housings, fluorescent mounts, um, like your old uh, Kinoflow 4x4 banks, but they are bright, they are dimmable, they are quiet, um, and they are very affordable. Um, almost every single film set I've been on in the last 12 months has these in some way, shape, or form on set. Uh, the reason is that they're super versatile, they're easy to rig, you can like gaffer tape them to the ceiling and still get a really nice backlight, a hair light, or even an eye light. I got my hands on some about a year ago and I've used them really often. The most common way uh, I use them is uh, the entry level one, which is called the T8. I use as an eye light on a C on a little light stand um, just below my camera level here, and it just does a lot to um, lift the levels of my um, shot. So like that's without, and that's at like you know one eighth power. You can dim them with these little uh, lamp dimmers and go up all the way and like blow it out, but. Usually I kind of keep it around there so there's still a little bit of shape. It's a really great way to um, use underfill. They're just really versatile and they're light. So you can put them on a C-stand, you can put them on a lighting stand. This one is just on like a little um, clapper grip. I'll put all these links in the description. Now these are the T8s, they're only 75 bucks. Um, they're daylight only and they're, um, you have to add an extra dimmer to them. The next thing up from this is the um, bicolor tubes, the crossfades. I have one here. I have it rigged to a um, C-stand arm so that I can clamp it straight in. And I also have it um, attached to this. It's a drill speed controller. <laughs> um, I have that on the end of the C-stand arm so I keep, keep it attached with the light. These guys are also dimmable, but the reason they call crossfades is they have a little dial in the um, the lamp itself that takes it from um, tungsten to daylight, which is super useful. They're a lot brighter. Um, they're a little bit thicker, uh, probably because they have two rows of different colored LEDs in them. These bigger guys, brighter guys, actually do more of the job of a key rather than a backlight, a hair light, or an eye light. So Quasar listened to all the feedback from the earlier models um, and added a lot more improvements um, for their next light. It's called the Q Rainbow. Um, a couple of important design changes. Um, this one has a locking twist mechanism um, for, the, uh, for the power. All these lights are internally ballasted, which means they plug straight, there's just a cable and they plug straight into the wall. There's no added extra um, sort of like power pack that you need to hang off a C-stand. Um, and that's what I love about them, that they're really simple. It's one unit and a cable. Um, but these guys, the new Q Rainbows have a, um, a locking plug mechanism that has their own internal power switch. On the other end of the light, they have a little digital LED. So you have your menu here and you can change your intensity. So you can dim on the light itself. You can change the color temperature all the way down at 2000 Kelvin, all the way up to 6,000 Kelvin. Then you can also change the hue um, and it comes with different presets. It comes with blue, cyan, green, red. So you can um, click through the presets or you can create your own. It also comes with effects, short circuit, um, which is cool if you are uh, you want to plug this into an existing fluoro tube and get a horror effect. It has paparazzi, uh, fire effects, Kyle Police light, which um, every LED maker is putting in these now. Really impressive um, upgrade to the to the Quasar. Uh, they are not as cheap as the T8s. Um, 250 uh, for the Crossfade and 80 or 75, depending on where you get it from, um, for the T8s. And for that, you get a 50 watt. Really, it's just a way to make um, something that's already a really cool, versatile, um, affordable light. Uh, much more powerful. You can run these through DMX. You, you can um, 
you can sync them to one another. So if you want to put them in a big bank like some people do, you can have them all um, following a certain pattern or you can lock them all to the same mode. So when you change the settings on one of the quasars, all of the quasars change. Um, and really just, they, they're a, like I said, they're a really great way to get a lot of light in a tight place um, and with a lot of control. So that's my look at the range of four foot quasar tubes from Quasar Science. Um, quasar was good enough to lend me a couple of these for my shoot last weekend. Um, and I've used them in a whole bunch of uh, photography projects that I've been doing. So thank you to them. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Check out the description uh, for links where you can get your hands on these or find out more about them. And I will see you next time.